What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Team Usyk. Get this. Alexander Usyk's promoter makes it clear, completely clear, on who pulled out of the Fury fight. Alexander Usyk's promoter, Alex Krusik, has been discussing the fallout from the collapse of the undisputed fight against Tyson Fury. The world was set to witness the first crowning of an undisputed champion in the last 20 years since Lennox Lewis, big up England, big up, after Usyk accepted the 30% per split, signing the contract for a clash with Fury seemed like a formality until news suddenly broke that negotiations had stopped and the fight was officially off. Reports suggest that a financial split for the rematch was the cause of the breakdown. Since that moment, fans from both sides have been quick to blame the other with accusations of ducking and greed. Now, Krusik wanted to make it clear that it was his side that pulled out of negotiations. And this is what he said, quote, There was a question most frequent, fr frequently asked, question, I want to use this opportunity straight away to say we pulled out of negotiations. Okay. Team Usyk did that. Myself and Igas Klimas, we took this decision when we realized and got some proof that the fight is not happening. So the question is off. Team Usyk pulled out of the negotiations. We initiated that. This is very important because some people keep asking on social media, who did that? What happened? So now it's completely clear. Team Usyk pulled the plug, okay? Now, Krusik did, before you Tyson Fury fans ignite and clap and whatever and celebrate, Krusik, however, suggested the reason they eventually pulled out was due to the never-ending demands from the other side. With the fight dead, attention now turns to who the two men might fight next. Now, Fury, on the other hand, we don't know who he's going to fight. He might retire, and he should. And let me counterpunch. Um, for you Fury fans, you guys wanted me to make a video about who actually pulled the plug. Okay. And a lot of you guys will argue that, hey, Team Usyk pulled the plug, therefore they are the ones that did not want the fight. Well... I think what happens in all these negotiations, especially this one, including this one, that when you come to disagreement after disagreement, especially after something that you already agreed, agreed upon, then something you that's reopened, that's a problem. And that was one of the issues with the split because there was already a rematch in place, but then the rematch that was in place was all of a sudden single-handedly snatched back out to renegotiate uh, from Tyson Fury. So the question is, why did Tyson Fury, instead of signing a contract or the contract drafted that he implemented, why was that an issue? Also, the proof that they needed about the fight not happening is the same reason that Big John Fury people wants Tyson to fire Javen Sugar Hill. He wants him to fire Javen Sugar Hill because Javen explained what his position was and his reason for coming to the UK and it was not for Tyson Fury. And John is mad because of that and he's mad because everybody knows Again, that's been reading this since whenever that Tyson Fury was not training. Tyson Fury wasn't, because he, he said he wasn't training with the pads. He wasn't even including Usyk. Now, that by itself is grounds for fuckery. And that really let everyone know that Tyson Fury not only wasn't training, how can we think and be convinced that he was preparing for a fight when he wasn't training? 
We also heard Andy Lee say that he we haven't seen him in the gym. He popped up at the gym when Okoli was at the gym, right? When Sugar Hill came, he used that as a reference in on social media and took a picture with Javen Sugar Hill like, hey, we're ready to do this. Now, what you could do and what you could argue is, well, Javen Sugar Hill seen these posts and he seen these posts for Usyk. So you could say, well, yeah, he knew that he was tra he was um, training for Usyk because of the post. Well, for one, he knew about the negotiations, but he didn't know that he was over there for that reason. And see, it takes someone with just a sentence of truth to understand that Tyson Fury wasn't ready. Tyson Fury wasn't training. So what is this a, really an issue about? So if you or anybody else that's trying to negotiate in serious negotiations, find out info and intel like this, what would you really do? You're going to pull the plug because they've seen how the Joshua negotiations went. They used the Joshua negotiations last year in December as a recent message, as a recent reminder, as an example that Tyson Fury has a history, Team Tyson has a history of doing malicious things like this, self-sabotage and stuff like that. That's what happened in this situation. So yes, they pulled the plug, but they had a reason to pull the plug. When you find out something is not going to work and it's not going to happen, you pull the plug. Now, my only thing is, I wouldn't have pulled the plug. So, if you guys, I could, see, it's justified that they did. However, if it had been me, I wouldn't have pulled the plug. I would have let that shit ride all the way until they couldn't ride it no more, until something happened. You know, I wouldn't have, I, I would have seen, I wouldn't have foreseen anything. I would have made them tell me that we are not going to fight you regardless of what you do. Because see, to me, they just had and gave Tyson an out. That's why he was able to make his little, you're scared and you're a pussy and all this speech because he knew, great, you let me off the hook. You let me off the hook and I'm glad you did. Thank you very much. And that's all they really did. And I seen that coming. Like a lot of people saw that's coming. So if I was Team Usyk, I wouldn't have done that. I would have let that man lie himself into his own grave. Counterpunch. So I'm letting you know that I wouldn't have done that. You know, I would have allowed, I would have uh, rolled it, bluffed it, called every bluff that they possibly had until they had nothing left. Because that's what it was, that's what it was headed behind or towards. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of this message from Team Usyk that they actually pulled the plug. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.